Wow, wow. Um, you'll notice I'm a, we'll move around the room a little bit, and that's part of my uh, defence and also paying the tax officers, just in case there's any snipers at the back there. Yes. <laughs> Always get a really good worry. So, we've had some really, really great, inspiring speakers today. Um, I'm a little bit conflicted uh, now because I don't know when I go home if I'm going to have a pioneer beer or a station wine. So, <laughs> so it's, it's great to hear those sort of stories. Um, and I'd like to thank all the businesses here for coming because one of the biggest things is giving up your time. Uh, so COVID has really, really changed businesses and many, in many cases for the better. So I'd just like to say thank you for coming. And I'd also, Sam's not here at the moment, I'd like to thank Sam for having the foresight to uh, bring this together. So it's been over a six month project for Sam. So that's one of the things. So where to now is the big thing for everyone. So probably the first thing is I better explain who we are. Central New South Wales Business HQ, as or we use the shorthand, is HQ. So previously the old Business Enterprise Centre. So we've been around 29 years in various programs. Um, not for profit organisation dedicated to helping businesses throughout our service area. So we've changed over the years. Our mission is to foster the growth and development of business and enterprise throughout central and western New South Wales. So, because I'm wrapping up, I've got a real big issue with these forums and workshops. And the thing is, my issue is, we all come to these events, we get inspired. It's Friday uh, afternoon, and what do we do? Go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> we do nothing. And that's a big, big thing. So, I believe uh, we should write down some things and take some actions. So, on each uh, person's uh, table, I've actually got a little bit of an action plan. So, one sort of thing might be, go, I might need to speak to one of these speakers, or maybe I need to speak to someone else, get some advice. So, that's, that's a big thing. Um, and really, it might be right down those things, but I've got some business advisors here. Give them your action plan and get them to call you. Because the big thing that you need to do is to take action. Because the problems aren't going to go away. So I'm going to talk a little bit about sort of our services. So the main sort of thing, do an action plan. Um, and the programs that we offer is Business Connect. So it's funded by the uh, New South Wales government. Every business uh, advisor has been uh, accredited uh, by Business Connect. Uh, they have experience uh, running um, a business, also they've got the qualifications. So the thing is, when I try to hire a business advisor, if they're not up to scratch, Business Connect says no. So it's a big thing to sort of get these advisors through. So each advisor has different skill sets there. So I've got digital advisors, I've got tourism advisors, I've got retail advisors, I've got um, ex-bankers. So I've got a whole, whole range of businesses, business advisors in this program. And the thing is when I hire a business advisor, the one thing, if they know the answer to everything, I get scared because the one person who has the answers to everything is the one person you should run away from. So the one thing my advisors can honestly sort of say and do and say, I don't know, we'll find out the answer for you. So that's really important. Um, some of my advisors, um, yeah, they talked about the uh, saying the no word. Our advisors are a little bit nice, they don't say no, but have you considered, you might need to go back and do a bit more research for this. So our thing is, we're here to help businesses. The worst nightmare uh, with COVID was actually seeing businesses who uh, sought advice and not actually take that advice there. 
Um, so it's sort of something to really be aware of. And really, what's the big sort of thing? Uh, first four hours are 100% subsidised by the New South Wales government. So uh, that's great. Uh, I've just brought out due to our COVID there, our COVID affected businesses. That really serves to me. Every business uh, can actually sort of uh, set that advice there. We're not going to turn people away. We, we work with all businesses, small startups, existing businesses, those are growing, but also those who are looking at succession planning, those who are looking to get out there. Um, it's really hard uh, for a lot of people because businesses, you guys, put all this time and effort in to actually see a business have to sort of shut down. So how can we do that with dignity and grace? So these are the things that we sort of look at. Uh, with the federal government, we've got what they call the Australian Small Business uh, Advisory Service Digital Solutions. So I've actually got two advisors who are experts in digital. <laughs> um, basically, their main aim is websites and selling online. They're not going to make a website for you, but they'll step you through the process. They'll, find, they'll help give you a list of uh, three or four good, good uh, people that they recommend. And um, yeah, they'll, they'll guide you through the pros and cons and, and make sure you don't get ripped off. Also, um, because everyone has a phone, there's social media and digital marketing. These are all the speakers that we've had today that all talked about sort of, uh, yeah, the value of social media. So um, if you're not doing it, why not? Or who is your market? So. Um, my, my market, I might need to use LinkedIn. So look at the platforms, look at what's available. Using small business software. So uh, you'd be surprised how many businesses have actually changed over to uh, cashless businesses. Why? Because we've got scared of money. We don't want to touch things now. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny. We don't even want to shake people's hands now. We want to use elbows. I've got a bit of a problem with that because we got told to sneeze in our elbow. And now we're actually going and touching each other with our elbows. So it's a bit of a hell warning for me. So, and the other one is online security and data privacy. So if you're anything like me, because I'm lazy, I've got the one password for everything. And you'd be surprised how many businesses have been hacked. And what's the, the cost of the reputational damage to, to a business to try this sort of uh, fix up those mistakes there. So our advisors will actually sort of talk on those and give you some tips and ideas. And basically advisory costs, uh, this has just changed uh, as of yesterday. Um, first hours 100% are uh, subsidised by the uh, federal government. Uh, the one criteria is for this, all businesses must have an ABN, so um, if you're uh, just thinking, we'll actually put you through with uh, the Business Connect uh, advisors. We've actually got some digital advisors there that can sort of help there. And basically, we work with all shapes and sizes, except for not-for-profits. Don't ask me why they decided to exclude those guys. So another program uh, which uh, we've been uh, having uh, since the Hawke government is the new incentive New Enterprise Incentive Scheme, or NEST. So essentially, these programs for the unemployed uh, need to talk to Andrew because there's some legislation about to come through the government. It's also, and if that goes through, what they'll be looking at, existing businesses which have been affected by COVID, so um, who are looking to pivot. So that's a great sort of program. You go through training, you do a certificate three in micro business operations, you actually develop a business plan. You get to ask the stupid questions. And um, yeah, my advice, yeah, my trainers and advisors don't go, that's a stupid question. They'll actually sort of step you through that process. Do you know why? Because it's new. It's new for everyone. Uh, we all heard about the entrepreneurs. Yeah, do you know what? You're going to make mistakes. But how do we recover? And that's the difference between businesses surviving and those who thrive. Also, the best sort of thing in this is the personalised business mentoring. So you get one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, with a mentor. Also, you get that for 12 months. 
And it's quite interesting um, because these, my various measures will actually give you an action plan. And the first couple of months, businesses would go, well, oh, I, ha I haven't sort of done. Now they get scared because they know the advisor's going to call them um, and ask why they haven't done it. But once they start doing these actions, they actually start growing and they start getting success. So a lot of the times, yeah, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So it's not instant success overnight. Um, well, I think given two minutes, I'm the last one. Talk all night. I know I'm reflecting your beer time. So, uh, so, and the other sort of thing is they get the equivalent of the uh, job seeker allowance for 39 weeks there. So it, it's, it's not a hand up, it's a hand out, it's a little bit of a help up because at the end of the time, I've got businesses which started the program which now I'm employing people. And it's a great sort of thing to sort of see those businesses. A lot of times, yeah, sometimes businesses do fail, but the next time they decide to sort of start a business, they know they have those basics there. And um, yeah, for single parents here, uh, yeah, they can stay on the uh, foreign payment. So the main sort of thing, not operating on a commercial basis, that may change with the legislation, uh, but also access uh, something to see if it's commercially viable. And basically, the big sort of thing for a lot of businesses, business must take out and maintain appropriate insurance there. How many times have we, as a business, not looked at our, uh, our insurance to make sure that we're properly covered? Um, I've, I've known businesses which went, oh no, it's, it's a little bit um, too expensive. Uh, I, I won't get that insurance until someone trips on their front step. So that's, that's a big thing. So my final little plug there, how can we help your business? One-on-one -on -one business advice. We've got workshops, uh, webinars, social media, business planning. Our advisors can do a business health check, so they can come in and ask for a number of questions and actually produce a report for you. Uh, we can benchmark your business against other similar businesses. Uh, we've got the digital advice, business planning, succession planning, but I think the one sort of thing is independent advice. Um, we're not trying to sell you something, we're there trying to help you. But the reason why I took over as CEO is because I believe in helping businesses. And it's a great feeling to walk down the main street and see all the businesses that we've helped there. Or sort of have someone come, come up to us and go, hey, I've just recommended this person, yeah, I'll see you soon. So if you want any advice or um, want to discuss an action plan, yeah, here's our number. We've got sort of our, our workshops and our other events on our webpage. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Thank you.